Check out the trucks behind me right here. I'm at Pro Chevrolet in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. To show you these trucks today, I have a 2022 Chevy Silverado off-road truck comparison. We are gonna be comparing this truck right here, the custom Trail Boss versus the Trail Boss LT versus the new ZR2. As I said, it's the Chevy Silverado off-road truck comparison. Let's go. So here's the deal. There's been a big splash basically made by Chevrolet this year with the refresh, as we would call it, of the Silverado and GMC Sierra, of course, lineup of trucks. And that starts with the front end and basically it starts there and it ends on the inside because the side of the trucks and the back of the truck, there's not a whole lot of difference, but there's a new model and that's this red truck right here in the red hot. That is the ZR2, this is now the king of the mountain when it comes to the off-road variation trucks the Chevy makes in the Silverado lineup. We're not talking about Colorado today, okay? We're not talking about the HD trucks, we're talking about the half-ton off-road market. But, if I could put a little egg, not a little egg, Easter egg for you. Now, that doesn't even make sense. If I could put a little bug in your ear, maybe that's it. I want to let you know that there is going to be an off-road variant of the HD trucks coming. Give me something similar to that one right there. So stay tuned for that in 2024. And of course, stay tuned to this channel because I will be letting you know when that comes up. But let's talk about the trucks we have in front of us today. This is gonna be your entry level when it comes to the off-road trucks. That's your mid-trim level and that's gonna be your high end. If you didn't already know that Custom Trail Boss, you can tell really differs from these two quite a bit in the terms of right off the bat, in terms of the front grille. As you can see, it says Chevrolet emblazoned across. It doesn't have a bow tie there. Not to mention, we don't have fog lights in the front of this one. We don't have the LED daytime driving lights in this one like you see in these other models. There's obviously ways you're trying to cut the cost in this truck. Now, normally, you'd see a more aggressive tire on this truck. I'm not entirely sure why we're not seeing that on this right now, but it's just the way this one came in. But when we talk about tires first, let's talk about tires first. Actually, no, wait. Let's talk about what makes these off-road trucks first. How about that? These all have the two-inch factory suspension lift. It's not a level kit. It's not done aftermarket. This is coming a suspension lift from the factory. Now the custom trail boss, which is your entry trim level and your trail boss, which is your mid trim level are going to have the Rancho name brand shocks, which we've used for multiple years with Chevrolet and with General Motors. This truck, however, part of the reason why it's a lot more money <laughs> is because we are being now treated to a uh, better view here. Those shocks right there, is that cool? Multimatic DSSV piggyback suspension. Why is it good? Because when the road gets rough, when it gets real rough, this soaks it up like no tomorrow. But you can drive it on this road right here and it won't rattle the teeth out of your head because the dampeners change depending on what kind of train you're on. Now, with these ones here, you're getting a great off-road ride and you're getting a good on-road ride. There's no problem with either of these until you drive that and you find out the difference. But again, this is for the extreme off-road. Whereas these are giving you off-road capability, but you know, obviously leaning towards the city as well. Now, we've, we've talked about that. We've talked about the fact that they have the two inch factory lift, but let's talk about the tires as I was gonna talk about. Now, normally the two options and tires you're gonna see normally on the custom Trail Boss and the Trail Boss LT, the same options are these black aluminum wheels, all right, that are available in two different sizes. You can get them in an 18, or a 20 inch wheel. Now, if you opt out for the 18 inch wheel and either the Custom Trail Boss or the Trail Boss LT, you're gonna have the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac tires. If you get the 20, like we're looking at right here, you get the Goodyear Wrangler Territory tire. So those are the two options, black wheels only, Goodyear Wrangler Territories for the 20s, Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax for the 18. I, again, I don't know why we have these duelers on this particular truck, but anyways, that's not normally how we would see it. When we get over here to this truck right here, there's only one wheel option size, two different colors. So this one has like a kind of an aluminum and then like a, bron a copper bronze, I don't know what you call that color, with the black in the middle. This is available with the Goodyear Wrangler Territory tire only, an 18 inch only, or you can get an all black wheel. So only one tire option. Now the difference is also, this is a little bit bigger tire. This is a 275, uh, 70, 18, and uh, I don't even have the other one out here, uh, but these are 265s on, on the, um, 
uh, Trail Boss LT and, and Custom Trail Boss. So a little bit uh, bigger tire on that. And again, only 18 inch wheel option available. Now, heading up front as well, we're gonna see they all come with the red tow hooks, but check out the length of these tow hooks in comparison, how much more accessible these are if you are gonna tow out that you know Ford or Ram friend of yours, right? Um, over here, you can see kind of snubbed up a little bit, right? They're more inside. And that is a couple of reasons why, of course, you're gonna see these have a much lower bumper on these two trucks. The whole idea for this one is cut up much higher, as you can see, and there's some more aggressive skid plating, which you're gonna have in this ZR2 as well. Again, some of the things you're paying extra for. Relocation here, also of the fog lights in comparison to the Trail Boss, you can see they're down here horizontally, whereas they're vertical here on the ZR2 and you don't get them at all in the Custom Trail Boss. Watch that pricing, by the way. I can probably interrupt this for a second. So you kind of know what difference we're talking about in these trucks from a pricing perspective. The way these ones are probably right now, I don't have the pricing on this one, but this is gonna be Canadian, by the way, in around the 50, 55 range, okay? This truck here is about 73 right now. Now, the reason why this is 73 is because it has leather, sunroof, but you can trim down a Trail Boss to be a little less than that, high 60s. And then this truck right here is 82. Now it has, again, Canadian. This one has um, the tech package, everything in it, which we're gonna talk about here in a second. So it has all the features you can get in this, but it also comes standard with a bunch, which again, we're talking about. Now, another major difference in terms of the bumper is right here. See these? These caps actually, those pieces come off so you can clean, so you can clean the mud off of them. You know what I mean? So you can get in there and clean the mud off. So that's a pretty cool feature you've got there in the ZR2. And then we have the flow tie in the ZR2. So you can put your hand through right there. It gives you some extra cooling, whereas oh, it looks cool too. Two cools, I guess. And then you have your regular bow tie in here. All three of them are coming with the black bulbous aspect here on the hood. It looks like Ram Air, but I will tell you firsthand, it doesn't do anything other than look cool as far as I'm concerned. You don't really notice it as much in the black. I think the contrast when you have either a white or a red truck like these looks really cool, right? All right, so that's some of the differences here in the front. Now you'll see, as opposed to the older trail bosses, a much bigger LED daytime driving light on these ones. That's where the redesign is. The bow tie has been brought up higher on these trucks as well, okay? Now let's talk about some more comparisons when, with these trucks. The reason why this is 55-ish versus 70 and 80, a lot of that comes from the inside, but we'll head out back here just again one more second. What you're gonna find, this is, believe, by the way, I believe is a 2.7 liter, just as a heads up. Otherwise you would normally have the dual exhaust coming out here in the back. Um, we'll talk about op engine options here in a second. You'll see the dual exhaust HDMI ports in here. And the reason why you're not getting dual exhaust on this one is because they've relocated the exhaust up higher, again, to give you that better departure and approach angle, okay? So that's why you're not seeing that. And that's because it's 2.7 liter. But let's talk about actually engines I guess would be the next thing we can talk about. What engines can you get and which trim levels? Well, when you talk about this truck right here, three different engine options are available. You have the option, the 2.7, the 5.3, or the three liter. That is the engine options in the custom trail bus. Yes, you, you know, would have been nice if you get the 6.2, but you can't anymore at all in that trim level. LT, four engine options. Underneath that hood, you have the option of the 6.2 liter, the 5.3 liter, the three liter Duramax turbo diesel, or the 2.7. Yes, you can actually get the 2.7 in this mid trim level truck as well. And this one, the only option, the only option for this one is the 6.2. That is the only option, but I will say if they could put the three liter in this one, I think it would be a great seller in this off-road variation truck. I, I guess it's because I just love the three liter and most people I've ever sold them to or I've talked to love them too. I, I still think there might be a cooling issue and maybe that's what they're addressing when we're coming out there's by the way a new three liter diesel coming out i don't know what the changes are yet they've been really tight-lipped about it but we are going to see a different engine code which means a different engine a uh, different variation somehow of the three liter coming for 2023 so stay tuned for that as soon as i know that information of course i'll let you know all right so those are your engine options in these three now let's head back over here to the custom trail boss see these boxes here of course they're crew cab trucks right you can only get them in a crew cab. Doesn't matter which of these three trucks, only crew cab available. The custom trail boss, the trail boss are available in the 548 boxes, which I think both of these are. I didn't even look, but I believe that's what we're seeing in both of these. Or you can get the six and a half foot box option in both of these. The ZR2, however, you can only get with 
the six or probably the five foot eight box so only the short box available option there isn't the option for the longer box but you can get that in one of these two so if the six and a half foot box is something that you really need you're gonna have to stick to the trail boss lt to get that extra length of box now as we said we're gonna talk about this cloth interior only is the only option in the custom trail boss again keeping that price down uh, you'll see the seats move up but you don't have the armrest back here in this one you don't have the storage in the seats what am i talking about well i'm talking about what you're going to see here that come in this truck see that storage there armrest that comes down okay you see leather in this one but you, uh, we're going to talk about this in a second get leather or cloth in the trail boss uh, lt so a little more basic back seat okay no power connections for your passengers back here and certainly no heated rear seats in fact there's no heated seats available at all at any time in the custom trail boss again keeping that cost down so cloth seats in the front again as you can see no ability for heated seats in fact you can actually get this with no power seats um, but you'll see this one we did option for the power seats i think it's a pretty necessary thing if you ask me of course your regular door controls here there are no bow stereo system available no memory seats uh, you know available on this one now all these have the off-road package of course they're all going to have the auto track four-wheel drive system too high four high and four low it doesn't matter which of these you get and especially when you get any of our silverados with the z71 package you're going to get that four low range there okay tow haul mode of course on this one that's how we equipped it we don't have a trailer brake controller but you do have the option for the electric trailer brake controller in this truck still one thing we have changed for 2022 though on the refresh right there you can actually get the push button start in this truck i've been talking so long these trucks are gonna shut off on me here in a second but push button start is now not get this that how this is how it comes the weird part about it is you have the push button start like you do in these other two trucks you don't have the keyless entry so you still actually have to take out i have in my pocket here you have to take the key fob out i have one in my pocket here and unlock it this way whereas with the trail boss uh 2lt and the zr2 zr2 uh, all you have to do is press the button you can get yourself in driver passenger doors only not the rear doors Again, minor difference, but hey, it adds up in some of the costs, right? It does have, however, which I do like, we've now have the um, uh, auto high beams in this truck. I like the fact that they have that as a standard feature. It's a safe feature. It comes in both of those trucks, obviously, as well. A major difference, though, is right here. Seven-inch color touchscreen. So our regular Trail Boss for 2022 had the eight-inch color touchscreen. Of course, when we get into these trucks over here, you're going to see the brand-new massive screen on the side of those. Um, but seven inches is the only get. You still get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. However, you have to plug it in, not wireless. We're going to talk about that here in a second, too. No separate climate control uh, for the driver passengers. And, as you may have already seen, only the bench seat option is available. So you have that six-passenger there, which means you also get, right there, the column shifter. What does that all mean when we talk about these ones? Well, there's a couple options when it comes to this. When you're talking about the uh, Trail Boss LT, if you get the 2.7 liter option, you can get the bench sheet like you see in the custom Trail Boss. However, you are still going to, let's turn this on, because again, I, I, I said it was gonna shut off on me, didn't I? You are still gonna get the big screen here. However, it's going to eliminate this here, so you're still going to get the column shifter like that, but you're going to get the bigger screen. So Trail Boss 2LT, you're still going to get the bigger bigger screen if you get the bench sheet with a 2.7 liter, but uh, it's going to eliminate this, okay? This, however, is what you're going to see standard on the 5.3 and the 6.2 and the Duramax, which is, of course, the new electric shifter. We're going to see that in both of these trucks, okay? I'm going to show you the interior on that as well. And also, there's a different seat I want to show you too. So not only is interior different in the ZR2, which we're going to see in a second, there's a different seat in that one, if you can believe it. Anyways, wireless charging right down here. Of course, you're not getting wireless charging in the custom Trail Boss. You're not getting that bigger screen, of course, in the custom Trail Boss the way you are in this one. You're not getting this right here. The new 12.3, I believe. I think this is 13.4, and this is 12.3. Um, fully programmable digital screen. So you're going to have the ability to change either side here, the middle, what's down below, to what it is you like to see. So if you want navigation on one side and and uh rpm on another side and speedo in the middle whatever you can change all that how you want it now separate climate control is coming in this as a standard option which you didn't get on that standard options are also heated steering wheel and heated seats in this what isn't standard is right here the leather seats both front and rear nor is this a standard feature but they're at least options they're not options for the leather nor the sunroof of course in the custom trail bus but they are available in this now leather is a standard feature in this the sunroof if i'm not mistaken i don't believe is but you can get the sunroof of course in this as well okay but leather is going to be standard in that truck right there 
Again, there's your auto truck, four wheel drive system, but of course this whole layout here and the way everything is set up is different than that truck over there, the more modern style. You're also getting the electric trailer brake controller uh, in this one as well. Another massive option though, that's available in this, let me look at cameras here. You have the ability for the surround vision camera. There's of course this is black here because I'm uh, you know standing in the door, uh, having the door open, but surround vision cameras in this, which is really great. I love the option of it. And of course it's a much larger HD quality. That's not HD quality and it's only a seven inch uh, screen. Of course, you also have the uh, uh, option and ability to have both stereo system in the Trail Boss LT, which you don't have the option for in the custom Trail Boss. All right, power tailgate in this, you have the option for the multi-flex in it. This one doesn't have it, of course, nor does that one, but you can get a multi-flex in the ZR2. You don't know what that is. It's a six position system. You got power outlet back here, LED lights back here. Sliding rear window is an option in the Trail Boss, which is not an option in the custom Trail Boss, Trail Boss LT, I should say. So another difference in the Trail Boss LT. By the way, I'm doing this all off the cuff. So when I go to edit it, if I've missed anything, you guys are gonna point it out to me, I know. And I don't mind, I comment below, Comment on the things I've missed so that the people watching this video can get it. I'm just trying to go over as many of the main things that I can off the top of my head here. All right, okay, let's talk and switch our direction to this truck here and how it differs from that truck, aside from some of the things I've already talked about, which is the big, you know, the, the, the bumper cut up, the bow tie, the shocks. One of the other massive differences, maybe I can slide through on this side. We're gonna talk about those seats here in a second too, is right here. Do you see those buttons there? That is something we've only seen in the past in our Colorado ZR2. This is the ability to actually lock and unlock both the front and rear differential. We're the only half ton truck out there that has that full ability to do that. This truck does not have that. You have your four low, of course, not the locking differential, of course, not in the custom trail boss either. That is a massive difference in this ZR2. Let's go to the driver's side though and talk about some more differences aside from some of the outside. I think we've covered with the tires, the wheels, the rear bumper exhaust, that kind of stuff, right? You see you do have rear park assist on this, by the way. You're not gonna have front park assist in this, of course, because of the buttons. Surround vision camera, by the way, though, of course, is on this one as well. You see underneath the mirrors, all right? And of course, you're gonna see right here. Why is that camera important on this truck? We're gonna talk about that as we get inside here for a second. Let's head to the back here first, though. As I mentioned, leather is the only option in the ZR2. Cloth or leather in the custom trail boss as mentioned, in, uh, sorry, in the trail boss LT and only cloth in the custom. This is a new leather interior color that we've got with this two tone. I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick it up to see that. You have the yellow stitching along here too, which I think looks pretty cool. Storage in the back of the seats as I've already shown you. And of course, the cup holder there, this lifts up. Where's different is right here. You have heated rear seats in the ZR2. No heated rear seats, not even an option in the trail boss 2LT or LT as we would call it. All right, but some other main differences are up here. Remember I talked about the seats a moment ago or 15 minutes ago, probably a bug in here. Check out the bolsters on this seat. Check out how far they come out. Can I just quickly show you if you go to this truck over here, I got sweat going on my eyes because I'm out here talking so much. They're not quite the same. Okay, they're not quite the same aggressiveness. And why is that important? Well, if you are going off road, and the truck is going off camber. I want to be hugged into that seat, right? I don't want to be sliding around. And that's where these extra bolsters come in, which I really like. And again, I love the different design and I love the two-tone of this. By the way, as a heads up though, this is the only interior color that you have the option for when it comes to the ZR2. So this is it. Love it or hate it, that is it. Bose stereo system, of course, in this one. Memory seats though, that is not available in either of those two trucks. Standard feature in this one, you get the memory seats, not to mention as we did talk about, of course, the sunroof here. Heading up here, another massive difference now, not a standard feature, so keep this in mind, this is not standard. Part of the tech package, which we ordered with this truck, which I talked about, is right here, the heads up display. I wanna start this truck again so we can kinda of maybe see some of this stuff here. So the heads up display is going to, exactly kinda of what it sounds like, it's going to, I don't know if you can see, but it shines your speedometer or your radio station whatever up on the screen in front of you, which is an awesome feature. Again, only part of the tech package. You can change the height of it depending on how high or low you sit in the seat, the brightness, if it's night or day, and of course, what information is showing on there, which is pretty cool. The rest of this is pretty much the same as a Trail Boss. Other than you have one other different drive mode. You have something called terrain mode in this. Why is that a cool feature? Well, 
with the terrain mode, you have the ability to have something called one pedal drive, and that allows you the ability to only drive with that one gas pedal down there. And what it'll do, if you're in four low and you're in train mode, it'll actually stop, slow down, and actually brake the vehicle so you're not having to control that. So you can go through the tightest of areas, you can control the truck with only the one pedal. Another major difference that goes along, by the way, with these memory seats is the power adjustable steering wheel. Again, not an option, of course, in either of those two trucks. So when you set your memory seats, it'll do your steering wheel, your outside mirrors, as well, of course, as your seats when you save the memory there. So I, I do like the ability for that power steering wheel. Of course, heated seats are gonna be standard as well as the heated steering wheel and air conditioned, ventilated seats are in this one as well, all right? Google integration on both of these trucks as far as the, um, the main screen is concerned. So you have navigation built in. By the way, the navigation built into this is the Google Maps. You have to have an active OnStar subscription with data in order for that to work. Otherwise, you have your ability to have your wireless, which you can, first of all, have wireless charging, but a wireless Apple CarPlay in either of these two trucks, which will run your maps off that way, or Android Auto, of course, as well, all right? So another difference there, there's your trailer brake controller, heated and cooled seat buttons are right there. Of course, only heated seats on the Trail Boss over there. Uh, there's that locking differential we talked about. All right, I love that screen. I love the stitching. Again, nice amount of storage here. Uh, you got a power outlet over here. Wireless charging is right there. I think I've covered everything I can think of. Oh no, one more last thing right here. Rear vision camera mirror as part of the tech package. The tech package is gonna get you the heads up display, rear vision camera mirror, uh, the rear vision camera mirror right there. So if you don't like the camera mirror, if it freaks you out, you have the ability to put it back to regular mirror. Otherwise the camera mirror is there and you can adjust the brightness of it. You can adjust how far or in or out it goes, uh, as well as the height of it. So you can adjust how high or low the vision for the rear vision camera is. So um, yeah, what a great looking truck, right? So that is the differences if you're shopping between a custom Trail Boss, the far one, the Trail Boss LT, the ZR2, which one would you get? I know which one I would get if money was no option. Money's an option that makes the choice a little bit different, doesn't it? The point is, they're all amazing trucks. They're all suited for different people, different usages, different reasons. As always, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned to the next video, everybody. Cheers.